in the cut tv welcome back everybody to a brand new video here join with your host today we're gonna be reacting to the reboot of drake and josh i don't know what to expect but hey man make sure you guys drop a like a comment subscribe click that bell so you guys get notified every time we upload you know i love little kids kids are awesome you know what i like best about them the coolest thing about him is that he doesn't have Having said that, I need to count one attempted at endangering children felony in the fourth degree. Guilty. I used to tutor this little Portuguese. Uh, Who made this? I'm not even gonna laugh. Megan and three of her friends. I was teaching him about long division, and he threw a golf club at me. A nine iron. Bob told me to take the kids to the museum, but instead, I took the right go karts. The club hit me in the eye. God damn, bro. <laughs> Bob, no. <laughs> you know it's crazy because Drake changed his name and moved to Mexico to Drake Cabana and then he Two, four. <laughs> State of Ohio versus Jared Bell. Mr. Bell, can you hear the court? I can, yes, Your Honor. Very good. Uh, counsel for uh, Mr. Bell is in the courtroom. Ian Freeman and Madeline Grant, present from the state. Kevin Brigman also in the courtroom. Just be cool. Right. And then he had little groupies in the back, huh? Wait, wait. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how the chicks like how they look now. Mr. Bell, how old are you? Currently thirty-four. How far did you go in school? Um, GED. Oh, nice. I mean, he was an Are actor, you know, he came up still. Are you influence of drugs, alcohol, or medication? Hell yeah. No, sir. No, Your Honor. Are you undergoing psychiatric treatment? I mean, I've seen a psychologist. I don't know if that's psychiatric treatment. Okay. 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 You understand what we're doing here this afternoon, is that correct? I do, Your Honor. Very good. Um, we're gonna sentencing's gonna be deferred till July twelfth at noon. Any further counsel? Very good. We'll see you July twelfth. I gotta get some soup. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently they edited. Okay. Bruh, damn, they're gonna do it exactly like the TV show. Oh, damn. Nostalgia, huh? Bro. I'm not gonna laugh, honestly. I'm gonna try to be serious as possible. The last one, I'm gonna go get some soup. Are we ready? <clears throat> That's crazy. That makes sense why he moved to Mexico. Case number 659324, State of Ohio versus Jared Bell. Defendant is appearing by Zoom. Mr. Bell, can you hear the court? I can, yes, Your Honor. Very good. Uh, Counselor for uh, Mr. Bell is in the courtroom. Ian Freeman and Madeline Grant, present from the state. Kevin Freeman also in the courtroom. My understanding there's been a plea agreement arranged where the defendant will plead guilty to count one attempted endangering children. The felony of the fourth degree. You'll plead guilty to count two to seven harmful to juveniles, misdemeanor of the first degree. Correct statement, counsel. Mr. Bell, how old are you? Currently 34. How far did you go in school? Why did they put a lappy sound right there? Um <laughs> GED. That's what you presently <laughs> under the influence of drugs, alcohol, Hell or Hell yeah. No, sir. No, Wait no. to make. Are you undergoing psychiatric treatment? You're gonna put. I mean, I see that makes a psychologist. I don't know if that's nah. psychiatric treatment. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a good start. Okay. Well, you understand what we're doing here this afternoon? Is that correct? 
I do, Your Honor. Very good. <clears throat> uh, felony of the fourth degree, attempted endangering children, carries anywhere from six to 18 months in prison in monthly increments, and or fine of up to five thousand dollars. Prison time's not mandatory. Five K, not bad. However, yeah. if you go to prison upon your release, you could be subjected to a discretionary period of three years post-release control. Post-release control could involve restrictions on your activities. If you were to violate those restrictions, you could be returned to prison up to a maximum of one half of your original sentence. A misdemeanor of the first degree carries up to six months in county jail and or a fine of up to uh, $1,000. Do you understand the potential penalties? I do, Your Honor, yes. Do you understand if you plead guilty, that is an omission by you that you did these crimes? Yes, Your Honor. Even though your lawyer may have discussed your rights at trial, it's my duty to explain them to you. kind of serious. I didn't think about it because this is real. This is a real court case. Jury, you know, like, by a judge without a jury, know. whichever, whichever <clears throat> you prefer. People are savages. Right to be by no, I hear you reacting to this guy. It's my first time watching this, too. The court would appoint one to represent you at no cost. At trial, the prosecutor would have to produce his witnesses in open court. And you or your attorney would have the right to cross-examine those witnesses. You could issue subpoenas to compel witnesses to come into court. What? To testify on your own behalf. You could testify if you wish, but you could not be compelled to testify against yourself, and the prosecutor could not comment on your failure to testify. You'd be presumed innocent until the prosecutor proved your guilt by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights? Yes, Your Honor. Have any threats or promises been made to you to induce this plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with your lawyers? Yes, Your Honor. Are you presently on probation, <laughs> parole, or post-release control? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Having said that, how do you plead to count one? Attempted endangering children. I think he pleads guilty to all of them, right? Guilty. How do you plead to count two? Disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. First degree misdemeanor. Guilty. Ooh. Let the record reflect the defendant has no, you can never the court mind accepts that, that plea. Bad. Find it was made knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently. He's a savage, bro. Like, you gotta uh, ask gonna, sometimes, you know? Sentencing's gonna be deferred till July 12th at noon. Uh, the uh, victim can uh, provide a victim impact statement if she wishes, uh, either by herself and, uh, uh, through Zoom or through the uh, witness victim advocate from the, the court. Uh, Additionally, counsel can file sentencing mem uh, memorandums as well. Uh, please do it at least three days prior to uh, July 12th. Anything further, counsel? Very good. We'll see you July 12th. Thank you. <clears throat> I fucking hate this guy, damn it. Damn, that's crazy. Well... Well, hey, man, hopefully everything wasn't too bad, I guess. I don't really know the, the whole situation, but God damn, hold on. I want to read some of these comments. Are you calling me a child in danger? I ain't calling you a child in safer. Jesus Christ, that dude sounds like he's on the edge of coughing up his entire digestive system. <laughs> the judge sounds like he's on the shitter and battling a tough one. Ah, <laughs> uh, no way. It should have ended with court dismissed, bring in the dancing lobsters. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, make sure you guys drop a like, a comment, subscribe, click that bell so you guys get notified every time we upload. This is In The Cut TV and uh, yeah.